I wanted to create some lavender themed decor and therefore I went on internet looking for some inspirations. Then I started searching some printables. These are freely available printables for personal use. I downloaded some of them and put them together into one A4 size paper and had them printed out. I'm going to use today all these little printouts and make beautiful set of lavender themed farmhouse style or vintage rustic style lavender decor. So starting with this image, this image is available even in a small size as well as big so you can stretch it to your requirement. I'm going to cut this to size and then pop it onto a frame and I have a beautiful decor ready. One can even use this for decoupaging. For my second DIY, I took a sign which is a cuboid, more of a rectangular front. It will sit horizontally like this. So I've taken it and I have it in all white. You can paint it like that. So from my printouts, I'm going to use these two printouts for this side. So first, I'm going to cut it all out using some fine pair of scissors as close as possible to the pattern. And of course, don't, I don't want to destroy the other ones. These two pieces cut out. I'm just going to use some decoupage glue and glue them on two corners. Next in the space between the two lavender prints, I'm writing the word welcome using a black color pen. My today's video is part of the Farm Fresh and Fabulous and is being hosted by Chantal from Crafty Hints and co-hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. So I'll put links to all these lovely ladies' channels and to their playlists down in my description box. Now you notice that I have cut the heart separately out of the basket uh, printout because it was not fitting in the space and I wanted to add more of the lilac or the lavender shade around the sign. So after I wrote my word, I have stuck another heart in between the space, one in the bottom, so distributing the colors and the words together and it looks really fresh, beautiful welcome sign. For this DIY, I'm making a beautiful tag sign. So I took a ready tag or one can just take a cardboard piece and cut it to the desired size and shape and just cover it with the color, base color that you want. So I wanted a shape that has this vintage kind of uh, tag sign look. So I'm keeping a white base and then uh, this is the printout that I have cut out from my PDF printout that I've shown before. And it has these beautiful words, a splendid, lovely day, a stamp, some lavender and little border. It has a bit of French label a look. I'm going to glue it in the center like this. I wish I had a purple craft stock paper, card stock paper with me but since I don't have it I need to highlight this area so I'm using a color pen for this. So that is another option. So just highlighting this will give it a little extra touch. So I'm just making a circle around it. Next, I just uh, mixed a little bit of instant coffee powder with water and this is a little coffee stain and I'm going to give it a little vintage look just on the sides, slightly old paper look. 
So the more concentration of coffee that you add, the more vintage it looks. So just on the side slightly. Kind of highlighting the print here. So once this is dried, we would know how much of stain has it taken. Otherwise one can repeat the staining process once more. Then I have this beautiful satin ribbon in purple color or lavender color. So I'm just going to hold the two free ends together and make a loop like this and fade it in through my hole, your yeah, tag hole. And take the free ends out from the loop. So we have this attached and a pretty tag which says a splendid day, a splendid lovely day is here. I think I'll stain it further. And I like this lovely look now. So another set of printouts that I got are these vintage seed packet printouts belonging to lavender seeds. They have French labels on them and they are vintage prints for seed packets and they look so gorgeous. Look at them. So I uh, first got them printed and taking note of the size that is there, I have cut out some white cardstock paper. These will form a banner or a bunting. So what I'm going to do is glue each of the seed packet print in this fashion onto the cardstock paper, leaving little extra space on the top. So each one will go in like this. I shall glue it here. Now they really look like vintage seed packets. Next, I'm taking a punching machine and I'm punching holes on the uh, wider white portion as I left it like that intentionally for making a space for the holes to come through which I'll feed in my uh, ribbon for making the banner or the bunting. So here all five pieces for the banner are ready. Next, again, I'm taking some satin ribbon and look at this pretty color, it's so gorgeous. So I'm going to feed it in through this such that I have a larger portion of the satin ribbon seen on the top because I want to give it that lavender lilac look to it. It will look really pretty. So feeding in like this so that large portion of the ribbon is seen. So here comes the next one and so on. Really quick idea, very easy DIY or craft and the result is so pretty. And I have a sweet little bunting with lavenders. Anybody who loves gardening is going to cherish this. Here is the final reveal. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I never thought it this color would look so beautiful. 
honestly speaking i have personally never decorated my home in lavender colors but i'm loving this this looks so tranquilizing so fresh so soothing so pretty what do you think did you like this and if you haven't yet then please give this video a thumbs up share it subscribe and do give your comments thank you so much everybody with your time and your appreciation i'll see you soon take care be positive